In 2006, former President Thabo Mbeki's key theme for the lecture was the worship of wealth leads to ruin. President Mbeki spoke out unequivocally against market fundamentalism and the unbridled search for wealth, which he said underpinned South Africa today. As we achieved our freedom in 1994, this had become the dominant social value affecting the entirety of our population. Inevitably, as an established social norm, this manifested itself even in the democratic state machinery that had seemingly seamlessly replaced the apartheid state machinery. I'm arguing that the new order, born of the victory in, in 1994, inherited a well-entrenched value system that placed individual acquisition of wealth at the very center of the value system of our society as a whole. In practice, this meant that provided that this did not threaten overt social disorder, society assumed a tolerant or permissive attitude towards such crimes as theft and corruption especially if this related to public property. In July 2007, former United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan delivered the lecture. His focus was on Africa's progress, saying it needed to be balanced on three pillars, security, development and human rights. Lasting peace requires more than the absence of war or the continued presence of peacekeepers. Peace will endure only when it is accompanied by economic and social development, the second pillar of an African renaissance. Here again, there is reason for cautious optimism. An unnoted, however, that more than 300 million people in sub-Saharan Africa live on less than one dollar a day and, as he put it, are starved not only for food but for opportunity and hope. He was critical of the imbalances of globalization and said that the world's rich needed to help the poor. Of course, aid alone will not end poverty in Africa. Market access, fair terms of trade, and a non-discriminatory financial system are equally essential in helping Africans to lift themselves out of poverty and deprivation. The sixth Nelson Mandela annual lecture was delivered by Liberia's President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. In her address, President Johnson Sirleaf stressed the importance for transparent, accountable and the need to fight corruption in Africa. Rampant corruption is one of the key reasons why Africa is unable to deliver basic social services to its people. It is our firm conviction that Africa, indeed Liberia, is not poor, but rather poorly managed. Much of the speech was devoted to economic issues in Africa, such as debt relief, and though President Johnson Sirleaf did not shy away from difficult topics, such as corruption, the tone was upbeat and positive. President Mandela, I am often asked what I think my legacy will be, and I reply that it's for historians to decide. But it is my hope that when history passes judgment on me, it will not just remark that I was the first democratically elected woman president in Africa. Although I do believe, I am convinced that women's leadership can change the world.